Today, I'm back with another week of school lunch inspiration. Some of these lunches are hot, some of them are cold. I have meat-free lunches, gluten-free lunches. But as always, all of these lunches are fun and cute, but still easy to make. Now, if this is your first time here, I would love it if you'd hit that red subscribe button and go ahead and click the notification bell. That way you don't miss out on any of our videos. And don't forget to go check out Wednesday's video. The kids did another Don't Choose the Wrong lunch challenge, this time with Chinese takeout. I'll put the link down below if you wanna check it out. And now let's get on to the lunches. Hey guys, and welcome to lunch idea number one. Today I'm making a meat-free lunch. And I'm gonna start by making a classic PB&J, but to make it even more fun, I'm going to add a little peekaboo window. Now that just means on this slice of bread, I'm also gonna punch out a smaller heart shape in the center. So now when I add my peanut butter and my jelly, you can kinda see that peeking through the sandwich. This is so cute and super easy. So now I'm gonna pop the sandwich right in here, then move on to the fruit. For today's lunch, I'm going to add some kiwi. In this back corner for our vegetable today, I'm adding some carrot sticks. And then for each of the kids, I am adding a little tiny container of this ranch for them to dip their carrots in. To go along with that, I'm also adding some edamame. I know Lily loves to sort of break open the pod to get the beans out. And then for the treat, I have something really special today. Now this is something new that I just picked up at Trader Joe's. It's called pancake bread, and it's supposed to be a twist on a buttermilk short stack. So it's like pancakes baked into a loaf. This definitely looks good and it smells good, but as you can tell, it's kind of hard to get it out in one piece. This piece is definitely a fail, but that's okay. This one could be my piece. There we go, the second piece came out much better. Next, I'm adding in a good old string cheese. And for a crunchy snack today, I'm also giving the kids these Funyuns. This is definitely not something they eat very often. Hopefully they'll like them. And then last but not least, I'm gonna throw in a juice pouch. This is the honest kids drink in the super fruit punch flavor. I think this lunch turned out so cute. Afterwards, we'll see how they liked it. Lunch is over now, and here's what we ate. You guys did a really good job today. I see that there's just a few little crusts left of this sandwich, and the kids did end up sharing this one bag of onions because it is a little bit of a larger bag. But Jackson, you said you don't really like those, do you? No, I kind of like them. No, I'm not your favorite? Well, tell me what you did like. What was your favorite part? I really like the pancake bread. Oh, yeah. What was your favorite? The onion ones and the edamame. Oh, yeah? What about you, Jack? I like the pancake bread. The pancake bread? Yeah, that was, that was very interesting. It wasn't as light and fluffy as I expected it to be, but it did have a really good flavor. We can find a recipe and make our own pancake bread. That's actually a really good idea. We should do that. I will see you tomorrow. Hey guys, and welcome to lunch idea number two, which is going to be sort of a minion theme. I love minions, they're so cute. Now this lunch today is gonna be gluten-free. I'm gonna start off by adding something brand new that we've never tried before, and it's these cauliflower crackers. Now these sort of look like Cheez-Its, but like I said, they are gluten-free, and these ones are actually plant-based as well. But I have to say, now that I have these out of the box, I can definitely smell the cauliflower. Now to go along with the crackers, I'm also adding just a few slices of turkey. Now instead of just regular old cheese today, I'm gonna give the kids some of these cheese curds. These are not really that popular in California, but they are in other parts of the world. Let me know in the comments down below if you've ever tried cheese curds. Next up, I'm going to add the fruit today, which is just a mandarin orange. I've already peeled it. And to make it extra cute, I stuck a grape down in the center. So it kind of looks like a flower. For our vegetable today, I'm adding a combination of both broccoli and cauliflower, with of course, some ranch on the side for dipping. Now to go along with this, I also want to give the kids some yogurt. This is just some good old low-fat vanilla yogurt from Trader Joe's. It's really simple, but it's really good. So I'm just pouring the yogurt into these separate little containers. These are nice and leak-proof. Now before I stick the lid on, I'm going to add one little piece of kiwi that I've cut into the shape of a heart just to float it on top. 
I think this yogurt is so cute, but it's really very easy. And then I also have a very special treat today. These are the Goody Girl Birthday Cake Cookies. Now these look just like vanilla Oreos, but these are totally gluten-free. Oh yes, and when you open them up, there are little sprinkles inside the frosting part, just like a birthday cake. So I'm just gonna go ahead and give the kids about two cookies each, I think that's a good amount and I'll go ahead and wipe my crumbs up. And last but not least, we have the drink today, which is actually just some water. I'm reusing our juice bottle with the Minion on top. We love to recycle and reuse these Q bottles. And that is lunch today. Okay guys, lunchtime is over now, and I can definitely tell there's one thing that nobody really liked, including myself. I really wanted to like these, but I don't, I don't really like these so much. They have a really strong cauliflower smell and taste. But Jackson actually ate about half of his. He didn't think they were too bad, huh? Uh -huh. So yeah, I'm not sure if I would get these again, but it looks like the kids did really well on everything else, even their vegetables, they're almost completely gone. Guys, what was your favorite part? My favorite part was the cutie. What about you, Lil? Um, the yoga. Yogurt. Did you like the little heart mm -hmm. kiwi on top? That was so cute. What about you, Jack? I like the cheese curds. The cheese curds? You mean these cheese curds? Yeah. I have to say that we get cheese curds when we go to Utah, and those ones were a lot squeakier than these ones. These were not very squeaky at all, but and they did taste good. And we love the squeaky noise. Yes, squeaky cheese is always good. Good job today, guys. See you tomorrow. Okay guys, so here's lunch idea number three, and I definitely went with a Donald Duck theme for this one. And for the main course of today's lunch, I'm going to be making a pizza pocket, which could be served hot or cold. So to make these pizza pockets, I'm starting with some dough. Now you can use any dough you want, pizza dough, bread dough, crescent dough, but I'm actually using biscuit dough because that's what I have on hand. So I'm gonna flatten out each biscuit, add just a tiny bit of sauce. If you add too much, it's just gonna like squirt out everywhere. You, know, you don't want that to happen. I'm gonna add a few pieces of turkey pepperoni followed by half of a mozzarella cheese stick. I'm gonna fold this over and then pinch the edges closed. So I have sort of like a crescent shape or an empanada shape. Now before I add these to the oven, I do like to add just a sprinkling of Italian seasoning to the top of each of these pockets. This definitely adds a lot of flavor and it's really quick and easy to do. These cook up so fast, only about 12 minutes in the oven. And then I'm just gonna stick it right into the lunchbox. The kids are gonna eat them room temperature. So it's nice and easy. But I am gonna go ahead and add a separate container of marinara sauce so they can dip their little pizza pocket in there. In this next section, I'm going to add a little piece of corn on the cob. For the fruit today, I'm adding some purple grapes and I'm gonna fit as many as I can in there. Oop, that grape is trying to get away. Get back in there. Now to go along with this, I'm also gonna give the kids their own foodles. Normally I buy the Mickey Mouse one, but I saw these ones with Donald Duck on them and I thought they were so cute and it's really easy to throw into a lunch or to take on a picnic. These little foodles are great for traveling with. Now for the treat today, I have something new from Trader Joe's for the kids to try. These are the fruit leather buttons and I have three different flavors. There's a strawberry mango, a regular mango, and a grape mango. But for today, I'm gonna throw in just the regular mango flavored one. All the kids seem to love mango, so I think they'll love this. And then last but not least, the drink for today is some good old Donald Duck orange juice. Let me know in the comments down below if you've ever had this before. These are kind of hard to find. Okay guys, lunch is over now, and as you can tell, it went pretty well. Lily has her corn left, and she ate almost all of her foodle, just a few things left. You guys really liked your foodles, huh? Yeah, we really liked them. They remind me of when we go to Disneyland, mm -hmm. but we always get the Mickey kind. Yeah, they also have a Mickey kind, and I get these at Walmart. They're not too expensive. Lily, what was your favorite part? Um, the orange juice and the foodle. My favorite part was the foodle. My favorite part was the orange juice. The orange juice? Believe it or not, the Donald Duck orange juice is from the Dollar Tree. <gasps> That's the only place I can find it, is at the Dollar Tree. I will see you tomorrow. Next up, I have lunch idea number four, and this is going to be a hot lunch. For this recipe, I'm gonna start with some leftover rotisserie chicken. 
Then to this, I'm going to add lots of yummy flavor with some basil pesto and some ranch dressing. Now I'm adding a good amount of the pesto to this. I really want this chicken to be nice and flavorful. And then for the ranch, just a little drizzle. Next, I'm gonna mix this all together and pop it in the microwave until it's nice and hot. Now to make sure that this pesto ranch chicken does stay nice and hot, I'm going to add it to my preheated thermoses. So I just added a little bit of boiling hot water to each thermos and now I'm gonna dump out the water and put the chicken in. And I have to say that this pesto chicken is smelling so good. Generally, my kids love anything with pesto on it. And I really think that this is a great way to use up leftover chicken. Now to go along with this, I'm also going to give the kids some cucumber, but I wanted to show you a really easy way to make the cucumber look cute without any special tools. All you have to do is take a fork and you're gonna scrape down the side of the cucumber all the way around. So now all you have to do is slice the cucumber and you're left with this really cute sort of fringe around the outside. It's quick and easy, but really cute. And now I can go ahead and fill the lunchbox. I got these Hawaiian rolls from Trader Joe's. They're nice and fluffy and soft, but to make it really easy for the kids, I do wanna go ahead and pre-slice these rolls. I'm giving the bigger kids two rolls and Lily just one. Now to go on the slider, I'm also giving the kids a few slices of cheese. So to build their sandwich, they can add the chicken and the cheese when they're ready. Next, I'm gonna add in those cucumbers, as many as I can fit with some ranch, of course. I think every lunch this week is gonna have ranch because my kids love ranch. Next, I'm gonna add some fruit. I'm going with an apple today, but these aren't just any apples. I found these at Trader Joe's and they look really interesting. These ones are called Autumn Glory Apples and they claim to have a sweet cinnamon caramel flavor. I'm not quite sure how an apple will taste like cinnamon or caramel, but it sounds really interesting. So I definitely wanted to give it a try. Now most of my kids prefer slices of apple versus one whole big apple. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this up, sprinkle it with a little bit of lemon juice so it doesn't turn brown, and I'm gonna fit as much as I can in the lunchbox. And of course, I stopped to sample the apple myself and it's really good. I definitely recommend these. Now I have a few more things for this lunch, including some Gogurt Dunkers. The kids love these, but they haven't tried the strawberry flavor yet. This is basically yogurt with some graham crackers that the kids can dip right in there. And then last but not least, I'm also gonna give the kids a handful of these yogurt pretzels. And these ones actually have a maple flavor to them. And then to drink today, the kids are just gonna take some water. And that is it for today's lunch. Lunch is over now and we loved it. Yeah, it looks like you guys did a really good job. I'm not surprised though, because I tried some of this pesto chicken and it was so good. Especially putting it on the sandwich, right? With yeah. the cheese on there. Okay guys, what was your favorite part? The chicken. What about you, Lily? The pretzels. Oh, the maple? The maple pretzels? Yeah, those are good. What about you, Jack? The chicken and the pretzels. Chicken and pretzels. What do you guys think of the special apples? Well, did they taste like cinnamon and caramel, or did they just taste like regular apples? They taste like regular apples, but the skin is kind of like hard. And like it's got like a mushy. thicker skin. Yeah. Hmm, I thought they were pretty good. I would probably buy them again. And see you tomorrow, friends. Next up, I have lunch idea number five, and this one's actually a good alternative to a regular sandwich. I'm gonna make a rolled sandwich instead. For this, I'm gonna start with a whole wheat tortilla wrap. These are nice and soft, perfect for making rolled sandwiches. Now to this, instead of adding mayo, I'm actually gonna spread a very thin layer of cream cheese. I love to use cream cheese here because it adds lots of flavor, but it also kind of helps all of the ingredients stick to the tortilla. Now for these wraps, you can really add anything you like, meat or cheese, vegetables, but for my kids, I'm keeping it really easy. I'm adding some smoked turkey and some turkey pepperoni. Next, I'm gonna roll this up as tightly as I can, and then before I slice it, I'm gonna pop it into the fridge for about 10 minutes, and that'll make it so much easier to cut. For the fruit today, I'm keeping it super simple with something I know the kids will love, this is apple mango sauce. And then for the vegetable, I'm gonna add in some sugar snap peas. I'm gonna put as many in there as I can with, of course, you know, some ranch to dip in. We definitely can't forget the ranch. But what I did almost forget is that I have these really cute picks for my rolled up sandwiches. 
You totally don't have to add these, but it does help the roll stay together in the lunchbox and I think it looks really cute. Now to go along with this, I'm also going to give the kids some Chex Mix, but this one's actually the cheddar flavored ones. So there's pretzels in there, cereal, Cheez-Its, it's a great combination. And then I'm also going to give the kids a cookie or two. These are the almond windmill cookies from Trader Joe's. So I'm just gonna add two in this little container. And then last but not least, I'm also gonna throw in a drink. This is a pretty small juice box. I found these at Sprouts. And this one's in the fruit punch flavor. And there you have it. After lunch, I will show you what they ate. Okay guys, it looks like you did a pretty good job today. I see a little bit left in Lily's, not too bad. Tell me what was your favorite part? Go, Lily, you first. My favorite part was the juice. The juice, yeah. I never bought that kind before. What about you, Kenzie? My favorite part were the pizza rolls. And Jackson? My favorite part was the pizza rolls and juice. And what did you think about the cookies? I'm not sure. Thumbs to the side. Thumbs to the side? Well, I think they're really good, but these guys just think they're okay. Make sure to come back tomorrow for the subscriber lunches. Thanks for watching. See you next time.